Proxima Centauri, the nearest star to our planetary system, has for quite some time been a subject of interest for space experts. This little red dwarf was found in 1915 by Scottish space ace Robert Innes. It is essential to the Alpha Centauri system, which also includes Alpha Centauri A and B regardless of its proximity. Just 4.24 light years away, Proxima Centauri remains intangible to the unaided eye because of its low brilliance. Anyway, Proxima Centauri holds gigantic scientific importance, particularly as the host star of Proxima B, an exoplanet that circles within the star's habitable zone. Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri and its cousin, Tati, are more unassuming, cooler, and far longer lived than stars like our sun. Their low iridescence makes them challenging to notice, but it also suggests that their habitable zones are much closer to the star. For Proxima Centauri, this means an orbital distance of around 0.05 astronomical units, just a little part of the distance between Earth and the Sun. This proximity exposes Proxima B to huge heavenly activity, including ordinary solar flares and elevated levels of radiation, making its environment tremendously different from Earth's. The discovery of Proxima B was a gigantic leap forward in exoplanet research. Utilizing the radial velocity method, space specialists identified subtle wobbles in Proxima Centauri's position, caused by the gravitational pull of an orbiting planet. These wobbles allowed researchers to estimate the planet's mass and orbital period. In 2016, the European Southern Observatory officially confirmed the presence of Proxima B, marking a huge leap forward in the search for potentially habitable worlds beyond our solar system. While ground-based observations have provided significant insights into Proxima B, they come with substantial limitations, such as atmospheric distortion and light interference, which hinder the ability of Earth-based telescopes to capture detailed data about the planet's surface or atmosphere. Most of the data we have, including its mass, distance from the star, and orbital characteristics, comes from indirect measurements. To uncover further insights into Proxima B's environment and its potential for life, advanced observational tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, are essential. Proxima Centauri and Tati's role as a gateway to understanding exoplanetary systems couldn't be more critical. As the nearest star system to Earth, it offers a unique opportunity to study the conditions necessary for life. Proxima B, specifically, presents an enticing possibility, a rocky, Earth-sized planet with the potential to host water and maybe even life. However, the challenges presented by its harsh climate make it a complex puzzle for scientists. The James Webb Space Telescope is not just another tool in the arsenal of space science. It is a revolutionary instrument designed as the successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. JWST was built to overcome the limitations of its predecessor and push the boundaries of human knowledge. While Hubble has provided critical insights into the universe, including the age of the universe and the discovery of thousands of galaxies, its capabilities are limited by its focus on visible and ultraviolet light. JWST, on the other hand, is designed to observe the universe in infrared wavelengths, allowing it to peer through cosmic dust and reveal features hidden from Hubble. One of JWST's key design features is its primary mirror, which spans an impressive 6.5 meters in diameter, over twice the size of Hubble's mirror. This larger mirror enables JWST to gather significantly more light, making it capable of observing even the faintest and most distant objects. The mirror is coated with a thin layer of gold to enhance its infrared reflectivity and is made up of 18 hexagonal segments that work together to form an exceptionally sensitive observational platform. Another notable advancement is JWST's sunshield, which keeps the telescope's instruments at a constant temperature of about minus 233 degrees Celsius. This ultra-cold environment is crucial for detecting faint infrared signals without interference from the telescope's own heat. Unlike Hubble, which orbits Earth, JWST operates from the second Lagrange point, L2, a stable position around 1.5 million kilometers from our planet. This location minimizes interference from Earth's heat and light, allowing JWST to maintain continuous observations. JWST can focus on everything from the earliest galaxies to the atmospheres of exoplanets like Proxima b. Its ability to detect infrared light is particularly important, as it allows researchers to study redshifted objects, those whose light has been stretched to longer wavelengths as the universe expands. 
JWST's capabilities extend far beyond simple observation. It is designed to answer some of the most fundamental questions in science, including the origins of galaxies, the formation of stars, and the conditions that could support life on other planets. With its advanced instruments, including the Near-Infrared Camera NIR Cam, the Mid-Infrared Instrument MIRI, and the Near-Infrared Spectrograph NIR Spec, JWST is not just a telescope. It is a time machine, a research lab, and a symbol of human creativity. Proxima B has captivated both scientists and the general public as a potential second Earth, located within the habitable zone of its star. The planet has the right conditions to support liquid water, a fundamental component for life as we know it. With a mass roughly 1.17 times that of Earth, Proxima B is likely a rocky planet, similar in composition to our own. Its proximity to Earth, just over four light years away, makes it an ideal target for studying the potential for life beyond our solar system. However, Proxima B is far from an ideal twin of Earth. One of its most striking features is that it is tidally locked, meaning one side of the planet is in perpetual daylight while the other is in eternal darkness. This creates an extreme climate with drastic temperature differences between the two hemispheres. The region where day meets night, known as the Terminator Line, could offer a narrow habitable zone with conditions mild enough to support life. The challenges posed by Proxima B's climate are significant. Its host star, Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf known for its intense solar flares, which can release bursts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. These flares could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time, exposing its surface to the harshness of space. If Proxima B retains any atmosphere, it likely requires a strong magnetic field to protect it from radiation. Without such protection, the surface environment would be hostile to life as we know it. Despite these challenges, scientists remain hopeful about the potential for life on Proxima B. The planet's location within the habitable zone suggests that liquid water could exist either on its surface or in subsurface reservoirs. Life may adapt to the harsh conditions in the same way that Earth organisms thrive in extreme environments, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents or high-radiation zones. These adaptations could include radiation resistance, subsurface habitats, or novel biochemical cycles. The study of Proxima b and its environment is not just about one planet, but is part of a broader context of understanding life in the universe. As red dwarf stars like Proxima Centauri are the most common type of star in the Milky Way. Many. The search for life on Proxima b is more than just a scientific endeavor. It is a quest to answer one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Proxima b represents an exciting possibility. A rocky, Earth-like world that could harbor the conditions necessary for life. As our technology advances, so too does our ability to explore this intriguing planet and uncover its mysteries. While Proxima b presents tantalizing possibilities, its climate is heavily influenced by the nature of its host star, Proxima Centauri. Unlike our sun, Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf smaller, cooler, and much less luminous. Its reduced size and temperature mean that its habitable zone is much closer, bringing Proxima b into an orbit just 0.05 astronomical units from the star, almost 20 times closer than Earth is to the sun. This proximity creates a unique set of challenges for the planet and any potential life it may harbor. One critical issue is Proxima Centauri's stellar activity, especially its intense and frequent solar flares. These flares are sudden, powerful eruptions of energy that release large amounts of X-rays and ultraviolet radiation. Such events are much more common and intense in red dwarfs than in stars like our sun. For Proxima b, this means a constant barrage of high-energy particles that could strip away the planet's atmosphere over time. Without a protective magnetic field like Earth's magnetosphere, any atmosphere on Proxima b would be vulnerable to erosion, leaving its surface exposed to harsh radiation. Even if Proxima b retains some of its atmosphere, the radiation from Proxima Centauri poses significant challenges for life. Elevated levels of ultraviolet radiation can break chemical bonds, preventing the formation of complex organic molecules. This would severely limit the potential for life to develop or sustain itself on the planet's surface. 
On Earth, organisms like Deinococcus radiodurans have developed mechanisms to repair DNA damage caused by radiation, suggesting that life on Proxima b could also adapt. However, the level of radiation resistance required would be extreme and might require entirely new biochemistries. Interestingly, Proxima b's tidally locked nature could offer some protection. While one side of the planet faces constant radiation from Proxima Centauri, the dark side could serve as a refuge. Subsurface areas or deep caves could shield potential life forms from the worst of the radiation. Additionally, if Proxima b has subsurface oceans, they could provide a stable, radiation-free environment where microbial life could thrive, much like the ecosystems around hydrothermal vents on Earth. Despite these challenges, Researchers remain optimistic that Proxima B's extreme climate offers a fascinating opportunity to study the resilience of life. By examining how organisms might survive or even thrive under such conditions, scientists can expand their understanding of what makes a planet habitable. Proxima B is not just a potential home for life. It is a laboratory in the search for life's resilience across the universe. The possibility of life on Proxima B raises more questions than it answers but it also offers a new perspective on the meaning of habitability. The search for life on Proxima b is not just a scientific mission, but also a philosophical one. It challenges our understanding of what constitutes a habitable environment and broadens our search for life to include planets with extreme conditions. Proxima b's harsh radiation environment and tidal locking force scientists to rethink the conventional concept of habitability, which was largely based on Earth-like conditions. One of the key aspects of studying Proxima b is its potential to provide new insights into how life might adapt to harsh conditions. If life can indeed survive and evolve in such an extreme environment, it could redefine our expectations of where life might exist in the universe. Exploring these possibilities may help researchers focus on other exoplanets that share similar characteristics to Proxima b, expanding the criteria used to identify potentially habitable worlds. The study of Proxima b also fits into the broader context of the search for exoplanets, planets that exist outside our solar system. In recent decades, the discovery of exoplanets has exploded, with thousands of these distant worlds now identified. The study of these planets, especially those in their stars' habitable zones, has shifted our perspective on the likelihood of finding life elsewhere. Proxima b, with its proximity and potential for liquid water, is one of the most intriguing candidates yet. However, it is far from unique. As technology advances, the number of known potentially habitable exoplanets continues to grow. In addition to studying Proxima b, astronomers are focusing on planets around other stars, particularly those that share characteristics with our sun. These sun-like stars offer habitable zones that may be more stable and conducive to life. However, Proxima b, Orbiting a red dwarf star presents a contrasting case that challenges conventional thinking about habitability. Its study can provide valuable lessons on the resilience of life and how it might exist in more extreme conditions. Proxima Centauri, the star that hosts Proxima b, also offers scientists an interesting opportunity to better understand stellar behavior, particularly the differences between stars like our sun and red dwarfs. Red dwarfs are far more common in the universe than sun like stars and studying these stars can help us understand how different types of stars impact the potential for life on surrounding planets. Proxima Centauri's frequent stellar flares and the effects of its intense radiation on Proxima b's atmosphere may help researchers understand how different types of stellar activity influence planetary conditions, providing essential clues for the search for life elsewhere. For now, Proxima b remains a mystery. However, technological advancements and future space missions may ultimately provide the data needed to answer one of the most significant questions humanity faces. Is there life beyond Earth? With each new discovery, the possibility of finding life on Proxima b or other exoplanets becomes more likely, and the implications of such a discovery would be profound. The search for life beyond Earth continues to evolve, with Proxima Centauri standing as a beacon for future exploration. The potential for finding extraterrestrial life on this exoplanet has sparked interest not only among astronomers and space scientists, but also among the general public. Its location in the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri, combined with its Earth-like size and composition, makes it an intriguing candidate for further study. However, 
the harsh environmental conditions present significant obstacles, forcing scientists to reconsider the conventional boundaries of habitability. One key aspect of Proxima B's study involves understanding how life could adapt to extreme conditions, such as intense radiation and temperature fluctuations. If microbial life or even more complex organisms exist or could survive there, they may have unique biological adaptations that allow them to endure these hostile.